The best time to write. The best time to write. The best time to write. Is now. Is now. Now. The best place to write. The best place to write. The best place to write is here. Is here. Is here. The best person to write. The best person to write. The best person to write. Is you. Is you. Is you. Welcome to another Writing Nights Press Highlight of the Night. I am Azrael Johnson, Director of Writing Nights, coming to you from downtown Canton, Ohio. July 13th is our first ever sword fight competition between J.M. Romig and Jamie Laubacher, and we have videos to share from both of them in preparation for the upcoming bout. The two have shared some barbs previously, but they have amped up their game with these latest videos. Hi, J.M. You've been awfully quiet lately. I'm wondering if the uh, news of our upcoming battle has scared you into hiding. And, you know, while I totally understand that you're very intimidated by me, an invisible opponent isn't any fun. So, I thought I'd throw you a bone and give you a little taste of what you're going to be up against, just to give you, you know, a little bit of an advantage. This moment is unimportant. Draw out a face to burn into your memory, unedited by bravado, excitement, despair, it is acceptable that all you are doing is sitting. It is acceptable that at this moment you are not producing, preemptive, premeditating, or prepared. Look at the carpet beneath you, the blank space on the wall, the threadbare pattern, frayed tassel, the paint faded from years spent kissed by lazy sunlight. Hold the honest face of this moment in your head. One day this may be the face you look for in the crowds, the old friends you call up in the quiet spaces between moments of glory or panic. Store up the quiet in yourself. Fill it with familiar chairs. The future may be loud and you may have to meet it loudly, but in the deafening moments between shots, between shouts, between breaths, the you who knows quiet will still be sitting, mundane, honest. It is sufferable that your ears are ringing, eyes stinging with tears or tear gas, knuckles glowing white or bruised. This is not the part, this is the part of you they won't know where to look for. The part that is not at peace and not at war, but staring into the face of a moment, smiling in recognition. See you soon, buddy. Oh, Jamie. I, I, I think I remember you. Uh, we were in a few different shows together. We performed in the same shows. And I think we might have competed against each other at one point in the Grand Tournament. Unless I'm mistaken. And from, from what I remember, you were pretty good. Really good. Not better than me. So, this should be fun. And just to give you a little taste of what I bring to the table, of the reason you're probably not going to win this. Here's a poem I call Empty Frames. Holes in jeans should be earned, like merit badges, hidden levels, and long first kisses. Decaf lattes are for people who don't understand the point of coffee. I see people, plaid and bearded as lumberjacks, with clean, well-manicured hands, playing on their iPhone while waiting in line for a slightly better iPhone. I don't get it. What is the point of wearing thick, ugly welfare glasses without prescription lenses? Would you wear a cast on an unbroken arm? Would you? It's an honest question, because even as a member of this generation, as cynical and postmodern as we all pretend to be, raised on a diet of social media and other people's nostalgia, I can't seem to grasp the appeal of empty frames of any kind.
Jamie and JM shared the stage in 2015 as part of Writing Night's contribution to the annual poetry collective 100,000 Poets for Change. The night was dark and full of car crashes nearby, as while they performed their poetry, one driver rear-ended another. There will be no backbiting or unexpected crashes as these two performers go head-to-head -head in our first ever sword fight. Also featuring will be John Burroughs and Paul Mangus. You're in for a night of amazing poetry with Writing Nights Press, July 13th, 7pm at Makeshift Makerspace. Address in the description. Writing Nights! Writing Nights! Writing Nights!